Hey, welcome to this week's Team Culture. You know, I hear a lot of metaphors used involving valves, safety valves, escape valves, relief valves. I hear people talk about it in the news and they'll say, well, something was going on over here, but something acted as a safety valve or this is gonna happen if there's no safety valve over there. Sigmund Freud had a quote that said, the dream is the safety valve for the overburdened mind. Well, that's great, but what's a safety valve? Well, I think most of us kind of get the idea from the metaphor that it's something designed to relieve pressure, but I thought today, I'll show you how a safety valve works. So let's walk over here. We're here in our valve shop and there's a lot of valves in here. There's a lot of safety valves. Now, you gotta know something about the safety valve. Originally, it was designed in 1869 by Dennis Papin. Now, if that name's familiar, you've been watching Steam Culture for a while, because two years ago, we did an episode on the first pressure cooker, or what was then called the digester, and the first pass blew up, and that's when he knew he needed a way to relieve the pressure, and the safety valve, or the pressure relief valve, was born. Well, there's lots of different variations today. You've got them on boilers, you have them on water heaters, things like that. These are safety valves sitting right here on the ground. And this is Alvin. And Alvin's gonna help explain to us how a safety valve works. We have a cutaway here. Alvin, can you explain how this thing relieves pressure? Well, basically what happens is any media you have that you're trying to contain and breathe and, you know, evacuate, it's captured under here. And it's putting pressure upon the, the disc and the stem here. And all this is controlled by this spring, which has different spring ranges for whatever spring it is, or set pressure. So what happens is when steam overcomes the set done by this, that allows the disc to lift, and there it in, it vents out your outlet. All right, so the spring has a design pressure of, say, like 100 pounds. Right. So Each once this gets close to 100 pounds, it's going to overpower the spring. Right and whatever it's set at, 99, 100, that spring range, it will overcome that, cause that spring to relax, and then relieve the pressure. Gotcha. Now, one thing you need to know, I mean, this is a steam safe, you know, uh, safety valve, but there's also ones for water, all different kinds of fluid, all different kinds of gases. Gas, water, Again, air. Again, it's designed to relieve anything that's gonna contain pressure, like your water heater in your house has one on the side. Very important that that works, by the way. So, I thought for a little treat, I would show you what happens when the pressure overcomes the spring and it's kind of loud and it's kind of fun to watch. So, I'm gonna cover my ears. Hey, before we do this, I should say something. Thanks for joining me on this week's Steam Culture. Go find us on the web because we got great content for you each and every week and I will have something fun for you. Fire in the hole!